Hello folks, today we're looking at the participants list in Moodle 2. This is a really great place to have a look at all your users and be able to communicate really well with them. So we're logged in as a teacher into this demonstration course and we've gone into the navigation block, clicked onto our course short name and then clicked the participants link within that menu. The other way to get here is to add the people block to your course and you'll find that it has a link to participants in it as well. So if you don't have the navigation block on your Moodle 2 course, don't worry, you can put in the people block and get to this area just as easily. At the top of this page, we've got the list of courses we can go and explore. Now, this person's only enrolled in one course, but if you're a teacher across multiple courses on a site, you'll find them all listed here. So you can jump from one area to another nice and easily. We're currently looking at this user list in a brief format. But if we split it out, we can go to user details, which gives us a lot more information about each user on the page. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to scan through and find that exact person you're looking for. But because it's got more detail, it also takes up a lot more space on the page. I'm going to flip back to the brief list just to make it a little bit easier to see on one page. We're currently looking at everyone who's a participant in this course, but if we go to the current role drop down, we can filter by just students or teachers or any other role that's currently enrolled directly into the course. Below that, we've got a heading or participants, and if we click on the editing icon beside that, it'll take us out to the enrolled users list, which is another great place to look at and see who's in your course and how they got there. Below that, we've got two sets of alphabet links. If you want, you can filter the participants list by um, initials of first names or surnames, which makes it easier to just narrow down and find that particular user you're looking for. This kind of filtering isn't available on the enrolled users list, so it's a really great way to filter the users that are in your course, especially if you've got a lot of them, and just target the people you want to contact. Below that, we've got the list itself. And you'll notice that we've got a last access column. If, like me, you've got a course full of people who've never accessed the site, it might be time to get in touch with them. So we can select everyone by clicking the Select All button down the bottom, and then just deselect the teacher, because we don't need to send them a message reminding them they need to log in. That's us, and we're already here. With the selected users, from the drop-down list, we can choose to send them a message. This was explored in our module two uh, when we looked at messaging participants in a course. We could also choose to add a new note or add a common note to these users. You'll find a lot more information on notes on the Moodle Docs page, which we've got here. Uh, basically, notes is a great way of adding more information to your user's profile page that can be visible just by teachers. But please, please bear in mind that this is controlled by capability. So anyone who has the notes view capability in the course can view notes. If students have been given that as an additional privilege, then they'll be able to view and possibly delete the notes that you're writing on their profile. Important to bear in mind. If you're an organisation that's got its own student management system, then you may want to consider turning off notes at the site-wide level or talking to your administrator about this. It's a good idea to have one source of truth when you're uh, talking about information relevant to users. The reason this is a great tool here in the Moodle site is it lets you put up notes about how your students learn or what activities really seem to engage these particular users. So you can tailor your course to better suit your students. Folks, the participants page is a great place to get information on every participant in general. But if you click on a participant's name, you'll find that it will take you out to a page exactly about that particular user. And if you look down in the navigation block, you'll notice you've got some extra links. You've got a link to that user's particular information. At the moment, it'll take you straight to viewing their profile page. But below that, you can see their forum posts, their blog entries, messages that you've sent to them or corresponded with them, notes about them, and their activity reports. We look more into activity reports in another video in this series, but it's a great way to get information tailored down to a specific user. As we said before, the enrolled users area is another great place to get information about who's in the course, but you can see it's not as easy to filter users here, and we're not getting quite the same information from here. The most important piece is how these users were enrolled into the course, because we want to know if someone's got in there through a method that they really shouldn't have been accessing. 
uh, common one here is self-enrolment used by someone who's got the key accidentally. Another great place to see who the users are in your course is to come into the settings block, into course administration, under users, and you'll find there's a link to other users. This is for people who weren't directly enrolled into your course. Uh, our user here, Brad Moodle, was added as a manager to the course category level. So he hasn't been directly enrolled into the course, but he's still got access to it. You'll notice the administrators on the site aren't listed here. Just assume that they've got access to everything on the site, because they do. Thanks for having a look about how to check out users in your particular course. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact us with the details below.